Alright, this video goes through how to install Valheim mods with specifically installing the Pokeheim mod. But it's the same process for mods in general, so if you're here more generally, stick around because it'll help you too. I'll include links in the description, but if you just type Pokeheim Valheim mod in Google, you can find it right off the bat that way as well. Nexus Mods does a good thing where if you click download and other mods are required, it shows you what you'll additionally need. As you can see, Pokeheim does need other mods. We'll go ahead and get Pokeheim downloading, but in the meantime, we'll get the other mods that it's dependent on as well. When we click download for these mods, you'll see they both have the Bepinex pack mod dependency. This is the mod to rule them all in Valheim. When you want to install any mods, you first need to install this, so we'll download it as well. I realize the name appears a little different on these mod pages, but as you can see on the URL and the page itself, they're both pointing to the same Bepinex pack mod. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Anyway, let's go ahead and extract all of the downloads. I'm just going to extract them to the downloads folder because we'll get rid of them all at the end anyway. As mentioned, the Bepinex pack is used to install the other mods, so let's install that first. To do so, go to Steam, go to your library, find Valheim, Go to Properties, Local Files, and click Browse. This shows you the game files, which is where you need to drop in our mod stuff. All you need to do to install it is open this inner folder and cut and paste everything into your Valheim folder. That's actually it for this step. Pretty easy, feels good, man. Now to install each mod, you go to the Plugins folder within the Bepinex directory and drop in the mod files. Some mods, such as Mount Up, have a single DLL as all you'll need for the entire mod. You just drop it into the Plugins folder and you're done. Now let's do the Jotun mod. We're going to drop all this stuff into the Plugin folder. At the very least, you don't actually need to copy in the README file, but it's also 10 kilobytes, so who cares? You can delete it if you want. For Pokeheim, you don't need any of this stuff in the upper folder, so let's click the Plugins folder. As you can see, there's a lot going on, which makes sense since they're actually looking to add assets like the Pokeballs to the game. Let's go back up to the Plugins folder and cut and paste all of that into the Bepinex plugin folder. With that, we should be good to go, so let's test it out. You just launch Valheim like normal. You can see Bepinex pop up, which is great. Alright, let's make the most ridiculous character possible. Side note, do you hear that background music? Definitely a valley take on the Pokey song, so that's pretty fantastic. Even the intro text is modified to be Pokey lore. Basically, Odin got drunk and made monsters, and now his raven has kidnapped you and is forcing you to catch them all. Downright wholesome. The raven's tips are, of course, all changed to explain Pokeheim. Initial impressions are basically that it's super gutted, so I assume that the goal is to make it a really short playthrough to keep things exciting and interesting. It took me all of time to find berries, but Pokeballs can be made with just a berry and a rock for 10 Pokeballs, which is pretty darn cost efficient. So that's nice. Thingles to throw the Pokeballs definitely takes some getting used to. It seems like if you would have killed the creature with the Pokeball, that's when you catch them. You don't actually take damage or kill creatures with this mod they can actually just come up and be hitting you and nothing will happen. Since I was testing things out anyway, I decided to give Ikther a shot. It warns you to get a sizable army and it's not kidding. Ikther just kind of two-shot my stuff and then we stalemated with him not being able to do anything to me. Thus far, I'm concerned that it's going to be really grindy trying to get enough creatures to actually fight bosses, but my initial goal for installing this was to see if I could play it in VR, so that may still transpire later. Anyway, hopefully this was useful to you in some form or fashion. Catch you later, Internet. Oh,